If students can actually create original work on paper, come into a lab and build it with technology, they have jumped over that hurdle and that mindset is now, oh, I can design and build original work. And that's kind of where everything needs to start. Hey, I'm Jonathan Schwartz. I teach at Colfax High School. It's a rural high school in Northern California. We have a full wood shop here. I teach a pre-engineering program where we have a focus on product design, where we make everything out of wood. I also teach math and some wood shop as well. A friend of mine came in and introduced me to the origin of I had it in the shop to kind of test it out. Really pretty quickly realized the potential it has to introduce students into CNC without it being very intimidating. We do have a large 4x8 CNC router, which is pretty loud, pretty scary. And then the Shaper Origin allowed students just to get their hands on CNC, understand the ideas behind it. And the future is clearly the link between man and machine and the programming in between the two or the interfaces between the two. Shaper Origin has kind of taken this idea, this really gigantic idea of how everything's made on these big CNC's and really scaled it so far down that you do the gross motor skills, that you move it, and then the technology in here does the fine motor skills in here. So that is as accurate as a large CNC. There is really no budget, so all materials coming in need to be donations. Most tools are grant funded. I think there's a million places that a shaper origin into a workshop. I mean, I think they're fantastic for a traditional wood shop that doesn't have CNC and they just want to do small engraves, bow ties, and introduce students to CNC. It's a perfect application. You could, you know, you could have it, pull it out, do a few lessons on it, and only use it a portion of the time and not really give up any shop space, which is really a big piece of it. The thing that we really do the best in this shop is encourage creativity, innovation, entrepreneurship, and those are really hard skills to teach. Currently we're building a jewelry box with a CNC engrave on the top of that jewelry box. One thing that's really cool is this trace right here that goes along with the Shaper Origin. That's this frame right here. So you could just create original artwork, whatever you want, take a photo of this, upload that vector file directly into the Shaper Origin and then cut it out the very same same minute or next day. The barriers to entry are so low that everybody's CNCing, every project's coming out nice, but it's so easy that we've never crashed one of these. So it's pretty heavy duty use and abuse. I mean, there's like a homeowner tool, there's a commercial grade tool, and then like a school tool is like a different level. Like, Anything at a high school wood shop is like lending your favorite tools to your 90 worst neighbors every day. But I haven't had any trouble with them. One thing about the smallness and the portability of it that I do like is that it could easily be put away.